Good afternoon. I'm Ruth with Fay Hollow Homestead and I am so excited about today because I only have about 10-15 minutes in the garden today. Uh, I've been trying to catch up with stuff in the house. Uh, we got in real late last night. The kids and I went to a carnival. It was wonderful and uh, now I got to go to work again but the uh, it was like predator day in the in the food forest in the garden but I got some really great shots of my tactics of counteracting those predators and when I say predators I don't mean things that are like really great like parasitical wasps or anything like that what I mean is bunnies deer and voles but I have strategies I have strategies. I was able to go around uh, to all my buckets and look underneath the buckets to see if any of my vole traps had worked. And I got a total of four voles today, which brings our total up to, I think, seven, which is awesome. So if I can continue to eradicate a vole or two a day for the next rest of the season, I might actually have a good handle on what's going on in the garden. Uh, they have eaten my all of my parcel now which is really unfortunate but I did just harvest the parcel so I'm feeling not so sad about that but um, they're getting other stuff too beets radishes uh, carrots um, all sorts of stuff that you know I planted those I put a lot of work into them uh, I don't want to give all of them to the voles so uh, so I got a couple of quick quick clips of what I do for the bunny and um, and I got a great clip of what I do for the deer and um, I hope that you enjoy them. <laughs> I think I think it's super cool. Go get Okay, so predator proofing your garden. Now, in order to keep rabbits out of the garden, what I've done when I first built this garden is I put chicken wire along the bottom two feet of this big fence and that kept out the baby bunnies. Now, admittedly, when I added the food forest, I did not add that bottom layer because I ran out of funds. So buying this big seven foot tall fence big enough to go around like 50 feet on each side that's a lot of money so i didn't put the uh the baby proofing for the chi um for the chickens for the rabbits around the food forest and because of that they have been able to get into the other garden now i could have fixed that this spring um but i forgot <laughs> I forgot that that was something that I didn't do the year before and so uh, I didn't do it but now it's definitely on my radar again because I have baby bunnies in my garden and that's okay because you know now I know making mistakes as long as you try to fix them as you work towards progress you tweak what you're doing like it's okay you're gonna end up making mistakes no matter what right look at this sleeping bu bumblebee on the bee balm it's super cute He's sweet. Okay, so another thing. Every time that my husband or I, or I now, because now I feel confident picking up the snakes too, whenever we find a black snake in the chicken coop or near the chicken coop or in the yard or something like that, uh, we take that black snake and we put it in the food forest uh, or the garden. And I've learned you can't put it on the edge. You have to put it like in the middle of the garden. And so far, uh, once we start putting in the middle of the garden, that's been working really well. So that's another thing that we do. Another thing that we do to keep out the deer, because they have no qualms jumping over a five foot or even seven foot fence, is putting barbed wire at the top. Now, we did a much better job with the barbed wire over this fence. And the deer in this area, I mean, deer are really smart. Deer are very smart. And... They tried a few times to get in. They learned what barbed wire looks like and that 
it doesn't feel good and they don't want to mess with it. My uncle down the hill, they put razor wire and I think that the deer sometimes still get in their garden. Um, I don't know, it seems like razor wire would still hurt, I don't know, but apparently it doesn't bother them as much. But the barbed wire has seemed to work and so even though I did a really shabby job of putting the barbed wire up around my food forest. They have not bothered it because they see the barbed wire and as long as they see it, they don't want to mess with it. So if you see here, the barbed wire is even like below the fence in some of the areas, but I have not had a single instance of deer trying to get into the food forest at all this year. and. You know, they could very easily try to jump over that if they wanted to. Now, they do eat plants as they start sticking out of the fence. So I know they come up to the fence, but they have not once tried to jump over and get into the garden. And I swear it's because of that barbed wire. Now, we have had problems with a squirrel coming and getting the apples that are on this tree here. And actually, I can show you. No, I don't want to show you because there's a yellow jacket nest in the ground right there. <laughs> and my husband uh, just took care of that. Um, and But they're still pretty pissed off about that. So I'm going to just leave that area alone. But there's a, a half-eaten apple on the ground over there. Um, so what we're going to do for these apples is we have a couple of fake owl statues. And we're going to just kind of put those probably up on top of the grape trellis, uh, arbor, whatever you call that, maybe on top of the kiwi vines, I don't know, somewhere we're going to put it, uh, a couple of them, and hopefully that will keep the squirrels away because they're, they're terrified of the owls. So that's we, what we do for that. Ooh, I found a snake skin in the garden, uh, which means to me that the, gar that the snakes are staying in the garden. Let me show you. Look, look at this beauty. I mean, that's huge, isn't it? That's absolutely huge. So uh, that makes me really excited. Remember the snake that we showed you the other day? Uh, it was shedding and um, we did catch him again and we put him in the garden. So from what it seems like, he's sticking around or at least he shed while he was in here. So I'm just hoping that means that he's sticking around. Okay, so those are the ways that we've kept out the predators from our gardens. Uh, we've got the the traps for the voles. I've tried chewing gum. I've tried the the pinwheels. I've tried scattering that, that castor oil grain stuff that you soak into the ground. And those didn't seem to do anything, but the traps work really well. Um, the cat works really well. The dog keeps the deer away from my potatoes out in the field and snakes in the garden and fences, the appropriate fences, and that barbed wire keeps it pretty sturdy and safe. I can't say for sure whether or not the owls will work yet because we haven't tried it yet, but that's going to be our next project. So hopefully this helped you, give you some ideas. If you needed any, uh, there you go. Okay, so that's it. It was a short one today, but I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Where you are at, you guys, if you could, would you mind hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell? That would help me out a lot. I hope you have, have an absolutely wonderful day, and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.